I changed my <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I agree when Mantra Diksha is given by enlightened being that there is an energy point. No, what I'm saying is each of them will have a different, uh, it's like, it's a multiple systems. So in this system there will be some experience. For example, Vedantic system, this all this light, sound and all, they say all Maya. It will not be there. So each system will open up some way of uh, unfolding. Okay. Now in Vedantic system, no, no, I didn't see the light, I didn't see the sound, then nothing will happen like that. Vedantic system, only more and more clarity will come. Okay. So in Mantra Yoga Diksha, as you say, there is a uh, Diksha which is given by uh, Master. So along with that, a energy about the Tapas Shakti or energy of the Master is passed. Okay, so that's called Diksha. Okay, the terminology called Shakti Pad. Shakti Pad means uh, fall. Okay, it's just movement of the energy. There's no other uh, mantra or anything associated. That's just touch. Looking at some person, some energy transfer takes place. That's called typically the word called Shakti Pad. It's called Shakti Pad Diksha also. It's actually the word you use Shakti Pad Diksha they say. The Diksha word, they will also use that there. Diksha is brought down in that there are various kinds of things. They call Shakti Pad Diksha. Diksha is actually, Diksha is typically you all use for initiation, I think. English word. Okay. Whether, whether I have passed the energy or not, have I not passed my enthusiasm and energy of uh, enlightenment liberation? I have that brought. Not, not okay, okay. Okay. I have brought uh, enlightenment liberation is not somewhere. It's achievable to somebody. That energy I have brought. Okay. It is not some magical figure. Somebody sitting in the. Somebody coming from heaven only will get enlightenment. No. Enlightenment is for everybody. That's my energy. Okay. You are telling that this is sugar. Sugar is like this. Sugar is like that. Sugar. What? We are all asking. Give us a taste of sugar. That's right. <laughs> 
So I'm already given no empathy. Yes, where is Gayatri? Where is uh, where is you? Where you are thinking? I mean, you are, you don't even have uh, didn't even have an understanding the enlightenment. Yeah, yeah. So, so enlightenment can happen. Enlightenment can happen. This is the procedure. This is the clarity. That's the intellectual energy. Yeah. Okay. This is highest form of energy. Okay. Shakti pad is the lower form of energy. Ichcha shakti, dana shakti, kriya shakti. Okay. Higher than this is buddhi shakti. Intellectual energy. Dana shakti. So dana shakti is what I am passing on to you people. I am trying to bring in more and more and more and more clarity. According to me, that is the highest part of part of the initiation. Okay. So for me, I want to bring enlightenment so clear to anybody. Who listen to my talk? Okay, this is what is enlightenment. That clarity I want to bring. That is the actually dana shakti. So you call called diksha or shakti path. But whenever somebody talks to me, that shakti path will happen. This fellow Murli Maharaj came to me. I came to you not to talk. Half an hour I want to sit with you. <laughs> okay, why did you make Surya like this? Okay, it's right. Then at the end of the day, half an hour the fellow who came half an hour he went at nine o'clock and every morning SMS. When are you going to start next class? I want enlightenment. <laughs> that is not the issue. Morning on SMS. When are you going to start next class? Hey, Papa, I have not really was not ready to start any class. After lunch time, another message SMS. When are you going to start? For he he bugged me like anything. So then okay, okay, one class I'll start. <laughs> So that is actually I bring that intellectual energy into this way. Okay, that doesn't mean that I cannot bring multiple energies. I can different types. Shakti path also I can do. Okay, that's actually transfer of shakti. So then I can give Vedantic teaching. Vedantic teaching in a very 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 clear way. Okay, that way very few people can do that. That I can do. So, so many things I can do. I don't know what you learn. Yeah, yeah, what I'm saying is each 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 system will have open up a different types of experiences. A Vedantic teaching will give you open up certain experiences. Okay, a Shakti path will open up certain experiences. Vedantic realization is intellectual level. Intellectual level they will understand. Intellectual level, they will discard everything. All experiences Maya. Some light comes Maya. I am trying out whatever I know. I will explain to all the people and all the times. Some people will catch something. Okay. I took you an example. First day, Kashyap and Maitreyi came to my house. Okay. First one back. Maitreyi and Kashyap. So Kashyap is all Advaita. So he has studied Advaita so much. Okay, then he said, uh, what is Maya? He asked me the question. And he said he has asked the question to so many people and nobody has explained very clearly. And I explained him, he is very happy. Okay, then he was so risking and uh, went for a cigarette and came back and asked <laughs> happy. <laughs> Maitri, he said, uh, okay, uh, Maitri came, had, came with him. He had, she had not uh, come for this discussion. He said, uh, that's the first time we met. Maitri said, uh, I want to become your disciple. Can you take me? I said, okay. Then I touched her head. So, for three hours she went in the auto. Uh, sorry, she went, in the, went to home. So, almost three to four hours she was in total bliss. Now, if you call her Shakti Bhav, Shakti. Now, she is a transformation by three. Okay? Right? So much she speaks, whatever I am in, in place, my place. If I am not there, uh, rather, uh, my, whatever words I want to speak, it will come through her mouth. So, if you call that Shakti Pad, that could be Shakti Pad. Okay. That's what we are asking. I said, did you use Shakti Pad for initiation? You said, I didn't use Shakti Pad for initiation. No, no, no. When you use the word initiation, okay, initiation is typically Diksha, which is actually, is word in this thing. This is a nine months plus therapy. Ah, that's for him. Okay. So that's uh, Shakti Pad has one limitation. Shakti Pad is more like a demonstration. Okay. So it's only for making for making you to encourage you to. Uh, this called Tiura Madhyama and uh, uh, this Lagu. 
So what happens is depending on the ability, if it is thiura, then it's over. It will, it will just continue to burn. It's madhyama, lagu means uh, this thing. It will be more like a demo. So there's a memory of that. Memory of that. So uh, this there's the one lady Sujata. She came only for two days class. Then uh, she went off. Then uh, every day she phone calls me. What you have done to me? Okay. She has done a lot of your sadhana. She has gone to this ashram, that ashram and all. So she calls me every day, every morning and this day. There are no people. <laughs> I go to office, there is nobody. <laughs> nobody is not physically, somebody is there. But everybody is like Maya. <laughs> so she says, I go to function. Now everybody is Maya. <laughs> so she says, it is just one or two days class. I conducted two days class for her. Okay, like that. Different, depending on different samskara, different vasana, different uh, people. Like this. Mm. No, she didn't. She didn't come with the faith or something. She came with uh, just two days class. She want. She was going to Nitya and Nitya and that Bhirdi Ashram. Ah, she. I mean, Nitya and the she and her husband spent a lot of time with Nitya and. Okay. Then uh, one day she was uh, the Nitya Ashram. She had gone and she needed Nitya Darshan. Then uh, she sent, uh, spent uh, some time near the uh, tree. So then she felt that uh, she has to, they have to come to my house, talk to me. So then they came. Then I said, okay, then she, asked, she was my colleague in uh, Global Edge. So then uh, she asked me, then I said, okay, I conduct classes. Then she said, why don't you conduct classes? Then, okay, fine, anyway, these people are his colleague. No, it's two days class I conduct, only two days, nothing else. After that, she didn't come also. Okay, okay, so that's how it is. So different people react in different ways. Right. So I also want to visit you. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I cannot give like that. It is not. It's not. It's not like that. I can't. Okay. What happened to Prasad? My, that day, Prasad came to my house. Right. What was that? Now, how is Prasad condition? Mental condition. That's again actually Shakti energy. For you, electricity, electric charge. Are Baba? See what is said in Shakti Prati is. It is not Guru doesn't keep. It's not the favorite to somebody and nothing. No, no. What I am saying? Typically, what I am saying, there is always Guru is always overflowing with Shakti. It keeps on flowing. Okay. And the the way a reason for touching the feet of the Guru is that Shakti will be concentrated and there it will flow into the this thing. That day, Nityananda was ready after so many years. He was able to receive that. It is not that. The, Muktanda. Ah. Alay Baba, that he was doing every day. So this guy was not able to receive. His mind was. His 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 master is always giving. Master wants to give. Okay. Ah, he saw. Yeah, Baba. He was prepared. He saw that. It gets. You are only told that it is. See, the Guru gives, it will automatically. It automatically goes because Guru is like. Guru touches, not. Guru touches and all those things he does. But it's like a Guru is like sunlight, okay? He doesn't deny anybody anything. And he gives through that side this thing that is consciously in any way he is See, this is actually the understanding of the disciple. So, Guru sees everybody. Okay, now depending on the reception ability, that something burns. So that day Baba Muktanda was ripe. 
Sorry, Appa, I, agree. I accept your condition that also I'll add my class. First, for me, foremost, most, foremost thing is clarity. Anything you do, very, very clear. That is intellectual. Okay, this is actually come from Vedantic tradition also. You have to understand, understand, understand. So, no doubt should be there in the mind. That's called intellectual pride. That's called Gnana Shakti. It is very important. Then, Icha Shakti, Kriya Shakti, all those things will come into picture. Okay, depending on the nature of the person, they will operate. I think that that's, uh the best part that happened in your way of teaching hmm. when I came to you or anybody in your school or anybody we were zero clean slate and uh, your teachings were very uh, clear and no nonsense stuff. that's why everything entered and yeah. there were no concept of guru also for us uh -huh. I mean, for me I never saw you so somebody with the of course there was a lot of respect uh, so I'm just telling that I don't say any miracle, believe me, I can do some miracle and nothing else. I just say this is, this is the steps, this is the clarity. But I came first, I came to Shakti Kutti, because I had read a book on Shakti Kutti, and I wanted to be the best day master, I wanted Shakti Kutti, and then I heard that you were Shakti Kutti. But I knew that you were consciousness and other things and other things here, but awareness concept I didn't have, so that's why I came to Shakti Kutti. Next. I am not a... <laughs> so that's what you are telling, no, we are not ready. No, no. You are always ready to give. No, no. I am ready to give what I know, what I can do. I am not some, I can't claim some superior power, this thing, that thing I can do. Are Baba, what I know, I am giving. Take it. Okay? I can do this much only. According to what we are, that only we can do. No, no. What is my... Huh? What is... Keep saying we are... No, no, what I am saying is, I am saying the other way, I am saying the other way, I am saying the other way, I am not playing some big guru or whatever is that. What I know, I try to bring clarity. Okay, if you ask, I will give, this is what is there. So, I don't claim that this is something superior or I know something, I don't know. What I know, my purpose is to make it very, very clear, as much clear. And the, what happens is, the more, the more I explain to you people, it becomes much more clear to me. That's the other part. So the, the why I look for students is that when they ask something critical, tricky questions, then I something in my mind also gets cleared. <laughs> so, <laughs> so ultimately, should be mind should be intellect should be very pure, clear. No doubt should be there. So I also experiment. It's not that one day I get some medicine. So meditation I see. Okay. So this meditation. Okay. This, this is the effect which is happening. So I add this little bit much more, so then something else will change. Like that I add, some experiments also I do. That is why, Sikhiyan and Sikhiyan must say, I teach only one thing. And I teach 100 people, 100 techniques will come to me. <laughs> 100 people doing 100 types, and one technique is taught, and then 100 techniques. So I will understand, I learn from you people. Okay, I am not perfect, I am very imperfect, I am continuously learning. Whether you people learn or not, I am learning. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> That's why I desire more students. Okay, the more students, more learning will happen. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, example of Ramesh and Totapuri. Uh, Totapuri. Totapuri. Aneklo. Yeah. So, what happens is uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa is a Shakti Upasaka. Right? It's like uh, what you call as Kali, Durge. It's more of Shakti. But Shakti, everything is manifesting Shakti, energy. Okay? 
So now those Shakti Upasakas are able to do Shakti transfer, Shakti, Shakti Pata like this. Okay? Understand? Shakti, there is a Shakti Pata. Okay? Then there is a Dhyana Pata, which is actually Vedanta. Right? In, in the person, like Ramakrishna Amsa is Kali, Durga. It's Shakti. Everything in manifestation in the universe is energy, Shakti. So, he is overflowing that Shakti all the time. Okay? So then when he touches Vivekananda, the Shakti is, gets uh, transferred. Kedri, Kamala. Okay, that's called Shakti Pat. That's a focus on energy. Okay. Then there's a Shakti Pat uh, Diksha, which happens. Okay, Ramakrishna Musa meets uh, Todapuri. Todapuri is a Vedanta. Okay, Vedanta. What is the Vedanta? I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the effect. Everything what is sees is uh, nothing but Maya. Todapuri doesn't believe in this Shakti at all. <laughs> okay. So Veda in Shakti is, is a path of surrender. Vedanta is a path of self inquiry. So Vedanta says Aham Brahma, I am Brahma. So I am responsible. I am not dependent on anybody. <laughs> and the Guru means Guru will give that uh, initiation, Diksha. Then I am I am responsible. I am the one. I am the Brahma. <laughs> So when I am the Brahma, what Shakti will come to me? <laughs> Understand? So Tata Ramakrishna Baba says, no, no, I want to ask Mother, Kali, whether I should take Diksha from you or not. Tata Puri is uh, skeptical. What is his mother? He thinks that some old mother is sitting inside. <laughs> okay? He said some of the old mother. Then Ramakrishna Baba goes and asks Mother Kali. But Kali says, okay, go, take. Then uh, he comes to Todapuri. Todapuri. <laughs> he says, close your eyes. Now you meditate, you are Brahman. But Ramakrishna Brahman says, not able to meditate. He says, oh, what is happening is my mother Kali is coming. For Todapuri, this mother Kali and all is Maya. <laughs> it's not nothing real. <laughs> Which means Shakti is not real for him. <laughs> okay, he says, uh, take a sword. That sword and all you see, no? The sword is symbolic, which is logic. Sword, sword and cut the mother. Okay, kill them. <laughs> so that the Bible form was with sword of logic kills her. Okay, then that Shakti disappears. <laughs> now only Shiva consciousness remains. Then he spends in meditation for 21 days. Okay, that's Nirvigalpa. So there's a Vedanta path which is Nara. There's a Shakti path which is energy. The, they are distinct paths. In Vedanta path, what is taught is more of empire, Nara. Clarity. That is a Shakti path, the energy transfer happens. There are two distinct things. Hmm? Mm. So then, Todapuri Ramakrishna Mahamsa is now he is not able to, everything is Maya, appears to be Maya to him. <laughs> now, energy transfer also is Maya only. <laughs> right? So then, then what I will say is Todapuri, uh, who is only, everything is Maya for it. One day he has a very serious stomach ache. Very, very painful. Not able to uh, withstand the stomach ache. Okay, then what he does, uh, he is not able to, you see, even for him, stomach ache should be Maya. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> he is not able to withstand it. Then uh, what happens is, he goes into uh, the river, Hugli river, to suicide, kill himself. Okay, but what's happening is, the river itself is changing. The river, you know, he goes neck deep, river goes down. Really? For the river. Okay. So, he is not able to commit suicide also. Okay. The river is not allowing to commit suicide. Then he realizes, oh, this is all Shakti. Shakti is uh, really powerful. Then he prays to Shakti. Then he has a Shakti relation. Ah, okay. Whereas Ramakrishna Paramahamsa has a Shakti Upasaka and he has a Brahman relation, hmm. which is Maya. Everything is Maya. Hmm. Whereas Tvatapur he had a uh, Brahman relation. Hmm. Okay. Everything else is Maya. He had a Shakti realization. Now Shakti is trying to commit suicide, suicide is not. River is not available to do. <laughs> so the Shakti path is typically spoken of in the Shakti Aradhata. Okay? The people who do uh, Shakti Upasana. Okay? Where for Shakti Upasana, what is it? This entire thing is real for them. Understand? For a Vedanta, entire thing is Maya. Appearance. Right? Understand? So, 
for Vedanta, he will teach us through Jnana. So everything else is not real. For Shakti, Shakti Upasana says everything is real, everything is mother. Understand? Okay. So now, Jnana has a lot of clarity description. Shakti has just energy transport. In uh, what you call as uh, uh, Shakti Pad. Okay? Shakti Pad, that's not, uh, the sadhaka doesn't do much of sadhana. That energy which is entered will just take care of uh, the uh, sadhana. <laughs> Whereas Jnana, the clarity is there. And responsibility is entirely yours <laughs> because you are Brahman. <laughs> what do you say? I am not a body, I am not a mind, I am not I am not this, I am Shiva. That means you take responsibility. <laughs> For your sadhana. So these are two distinct parts. Which is better. <laughs> <laughs> so I think here the one. Okay. Very clear. Huh? Both lead to same thing. Uh, no, no. One leads to. They are actually both are required. Finally, both are required. That's why they say, Shakti and Ramakrishna Amish Shiva. You understand? That's both are required. For what I'm saying, the paths are distinct when we speak of Shakti path and Nana path. The beginning. Both are required. There's nothing called higher or lower. Okay, so for many people, this Shakti path is easier because it's more of Pada Bhakti, devotion. Okay, for some of many people, uh, for some people, Nana is easier. They are very that uh, surrender. Okay, in Shakti path, there's nothing to do. So you don't ask, come and ask, oh, Guruji, what I have to do? That after Shakti Pad, just sit. Then that energy will start taking over. No effort, self-effort is involved in that. Okay? Absolutely zero self-effort in Shakti Pad. Huh? No, no, what happens is the energy will do everything that will lead to a state of Savikalpa Samadhi. What you call as Saguna Brahma relation. So it will make the mind very pure and ready for Nana. That's what happened to Ramakrishna Brahma. Okay. So only if it is if you are ripe, then only Nana can happen. That ripeness will happen to Shakti Pad. And nature is very natural for the most of the people, devotion, path of devotion, initial Shakti. Right? So it will let your mind will get purified and it prepared. But many people get stuck in their Maya only. Somebody will come. If you are right, somebody will come. So that's why he comes to Ram Shri Because he is right. So meditation is Shakti Path of Shakti No, no. What I teach in meditation is a path of Vedanta. Vedantic path. Vibrations from the another. This is all again. No, no. What I have done. Omkara is Vedantic meditation. Omkara is relative Vedanta. And the energy movement is Shakti. So these two I have combined and given created a meditation practice for you. Shiva Shakti meditation. Understand? It's a very unique meditation. What happens that this will lead to what you call as Brahma Karavati. It's equivalent of Savikalpa Samadhi. So that will purify your mind. Okay, Dnana already has told, I am not the body, mind, and intellect. That you have to understand no? for that the purification it leads to. Okay? Mm. So then on the Shakti Path, okay, there will be many times you, you, may, you, may, you may not be able to recognize. Okay, I will get enter into a show of consciousness, which is completely detached. Everything is mine. Okay. So that that time Shakti will not. When my consciousness rises to what you call as 
ಸವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಸಮ ಸವಿಕಲ್ಪ ದೆನ್ ಶಕ್ತಿಪತಿ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ ಅಂತ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಷರ್ ಟು ಬೋತ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಶಿವ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಶಕ್ತಿಪತ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ದೆಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಒಂದು ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ whereas if you are in a state of that uh, what do you call savikalpa or brahma karavati then shaktipat transmission happens so these are the two different modes one 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 who is able to one who is able to switch between all the states of consciousness alone is called paramahamsa No, no. What is the question? And next, the disciple is given both this one and Shakti. Huh? And now when he is doing that, hmm. so, he clashes. There is no doing. That is what I am trying to say. See, if... So, if you, if you, if you just surrender to the Shakti, okay, just close your eyes and sit. The Shakti will take care. That is a path of surrender. Now, if you say that I want to do, then you are going to enter into the path of that what i am saying that is a clash no choose now make a choice what is the clash what is comfortable what is natural for you choose for me initial stages what i was doing is that i was sitting sitting silently and the energy used to move now it's very very like nice experience then i decided that oh i have to move the energy then the energy movement will stop so the ego is comes into picture so the question is if you are if your mode is comfortable then just surrender then don't worry about what happens just sit the energy will start moving chaya the question is which mode are you in are you in mode of surrender or are you in a mode of action if you are in mode of action go to meditation go to vedanta path if you are in mode of surrender just surrender to shakti that energy will start doing something for you there's no clash there is no choice there is nothing called choice everything happens naturally when you are saying in meditation you chant or you visualize or this is how the energy goes here in your awareness there is lot of doing in that that's what i mean this is the path of doing okay there is there is other path which is path of surrender you don't say this thing everything is says guru is guru is everything guru will take care just sit become aware of what's happening inside the body and some energy movement will happen now don't crave for some experience or oh, this has to happen that's not happening you know say that you just say that energy knows better shakti knows better then you just start taking care of yourself now what happens is that you are bringing your mind no no this has to happen that has to happen then what will happen is the ego is coming together then i'll say do do take the path of action <laughs> So when you are saying you will feel this you, you will experience this you will be become you should become aware of this and all these inputs are coming no no i am saying there are only two, okay, there is, is only two paths okay path of surrender then you whatever comes you just accept it but nothing is happening just accept it then what happens the energy energy will find the least path of opening okay now you say no no you start craving i want that i want that then there's a difference then you do take a path of action so which mode is suitable for you you choose that it's all no no what i'm saying No, no, I'm saying that doesn't clash. It's ultimately for you what is your natural tendency. Both 
No, no, I just followed a path of surrender initially. Even though I am very strongly intellectual, I followed a path of surrender. Okay. Ah, that's where the problem is. Huh? That's where the issue is. So either then then you switch to this mode of action. It's okay. Ah, that is the problem. <laughs> Actually, see, in surrender, there is nothing. You don't have to do anything. The God does. God takes care of everything. Uh, yeah, sit silently. Then energy movements will happen within your body. Energy knows, no? Energy is intelligent energy. So you, you just observe and it will take care. That's called path of surrender. This is what happens in Shakti path. Then in Nana path, you are responsible for everything. You do the meditation, you do the self inquiry because you are you are actually consciousness. So, what is convenient, what is natural for people, they will follow. Now, don't mix up these two; <coughs> they are different. Very simple. You look at me, okay? Right? You look at me. You look at me. You look at me. You look at me. I am very, I am very sharp analytical, very sharp intellectual, okay? Understand everything. Surrender to Shakti was very easy for me initially. Then when it reached, uh, then when it reached a certain level, then only Dana I was able to apply, right? Till that point, I mean, that question didn't come to me. Surrender to God is normal, uh, it's, it's easier for mo most of the people, it's natural. But then here, then you should not have conditions applied. I want this I surrender, I want this experience, I want this, uh, this thing, I want this success. Those current conditions you apply will not apply. <laughs> what happens if we we'll put conditions? Acceptance. Nothing is happening, then there is a fear that worry that oh God, ah. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing something correctly. So the path of not doing is called surrender. <laughs> then you will get fear, you will rise. No, no, no. There will be alertness. Just sit. Observe the energy movement. Energy will start moving by itself. So now you want uh, this thing to happen, that thing to happen, some conditions apply, then energy will stop. Because then they will say, you do it. <laughs> Just be, just be alert and energy will start moving. Okay, it, it knows the path, what is the right thing to do. No, 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 this has to happen, that has to happen, energy is okay, you take care of yourself, you are anyway good enough to do it. <laughs> the problem comes even You know exactly what you want, you do it, you take the path of nana, that's what the energy will say. Okay, action. <laughs> you want something, you want some experience, you want to, all those things will come into each other. So there are only two paths, path of surrender, path of enquiry, will. So now what the enemy says, no, no, I want this, I want this, okay, I want this. Then the, the Shakti will say, okay, you go on path of will, do it, take action. <laughs> when we fail there? Ah, that is the question. How will you fail? <laughs> so obviously. <laughs> In this part of surrender, sir. Dhanapad? In this part of surrender, sir. No, I didn't understand the question. In the part of Dhanapad, you are not... No, in Dhanapad also you have to surrender to Guru because you have to receive Dhanapad. But responsibility on you, enquiry, what you understand, what is required. To surrender is not only for Shakti. No, surrender is a common terminology, but what happens is in surrender the Shakti takes care of everything. In Nana, it is more of enquiry. It is not action, it is enquiry. But 
So what happens? In India, are people? English language. So what happens? I'll tell you. They taking it out of the Guruji. So they most of the people are follow the path of surrender. Okay, many of them because bhakti becomes easy. So then uh, they are, all that they have to do is accept that uh, God and Guru will take care and they'll sit. They'll have to sit down. But then still that ego is there, no, I have to do something, I have to do something. Then the Guru will put them on the path of karma yoga, do service. So that energy has to be channelized into action. That's why the karma yoga is given. That's why the transcription work is given. That's why service is given. I have to do something. <laughs> do that. <laughs> These are all the days. So I is there. I have to do something. I have to do something. Okay, do. <laughs> then after that you become nothing works. Doing doing doesn't work. Then even doing seva, doing meditation, doing puja, everything will start. The realization has not been happening. No, no. Doing will purify. Doing is a path for purification. Chitta should be like this prayer, bhajan, service also is path of purification. It does when you do with the sincerity and intention. That that clears. That's, it's not. It's not that you will achieve something. It it results in inner purification. 
It's not a goal. It is the path. So now we ask the question. Mm. <laughs> Baba Shakti Pat or Path of Salam means doing nothing. You do service, okay, the work and all. But as spiritual spiritual progress is concerned, just sit, become aware. Nothing is happening. You say this is the gift, this is the grace of God today. No, 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 no. No, no, what I'm saying is nothing is happening. <laughs> No, 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 nothing <laughs> happening means for that particular moment. Something will happen, the energy starts moving, okay. So, but then you don't put conditions for the energy. This has to happen, this has to happen. So, say the energy knows, Shakti knows better. So, she will take care. If nothing is happening today, that means nothing has to happen today. <laughs> don't wait, because you, you don't have to wait. The Shakti will know. That's the question. Uh, what will you do? Do service. <laughs> That's the path. Swami <laughs> very much relates to that story. Uh, I did story in the program. Like one guy was meditating for long and he was like worried about <coughs> under England and liberation. And, and Nara told that, okay, four more bus, he started crying. <laughs> and the other guy was like dancing and he was just crazy and all that. He didn't really worry a lot and he was in the moment. Surrender is a path of acceptance. Good happens, bad happens, nothing happens, I just accept. It's a God's gift. Okay, now are you ready for that? If you are ready for that, path of surrender is best. No, no, I want to do something, do some karma, karma yoga, service. No, no, I want to do something, I want to achieve something, then take the path of Kriya Yoga. Okay? Kriya Yoga is? Okay, it's that breathing and this thing and all. Understand? Surrender is psychological. Karma yoga and Kriya yoga and all require something to be done <coughs> through hands and legs and things. The psychology operates through that as well. Both is like surrender means don't do karma yoga, don't do. No, 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 no. It's not no, no, no. like that. Doing all those things internally, there should be no expectation. That's right. There should be surrender. No, I'm saying Continue. surrender is no expectation. That's right. Okay? So you sit for med you sit for meditation, nothing happens? Nothing happens. Like not only applies meditation. That's what I'm saying. Do what when, when I say you want to you want to do something, do karma yoga, which is no expectation. So that's a path of surrender. Okay? Whereas path of dana also requires karma yoga for a purification process. Service, everything is required. But then, Dnana Yoga, you take the responsibility. In, traditionally in the Vedanta, the example given is, okay, the cat and the kitten and monkey and the, the kid of monkey. So what happens is that when the cat goes from one, one place to other place, the cat carries the kitten in the mouth and carries. Kitten doesn't have any responsibility. Okay, so then, when monkey jumps from one tree to the other tree, the kid of the monkey has to hold the mother mother hold <laughs> tightly. Monkey, <will> not <laughs> monkey itself is using the hand to jump, no? So the kid that uh, monkey's kid, no? That has to hold the monkey very tightly. Okay. So the sec first one is that uh, the cat, cat carrying this thing is the path of surrender, bhakti yoga. <laughs> Second is path of nana yoga. Are you clear? Okay. So I tell I, I tell you people, don't worry, everything will happen. No, 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 no. I want this Guru Chit. Then okay, do something. <laughs> Why well, something happened to that person? Something happened. Are, what is to happen to you? Will happen. Just accept it and things will happen. No, no, no. I want to do something. Okay, do some karma yoga. <laughs> do some meditation. <laughs> What to do? Guru faces all these complications. <laughs> if you sit simply, things will happen. 
But then you start putting conditions. This has to happen. No, 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 no thoughts should come. Why, no thoughts should, why should you worry? Yeah? Let it come. The energy, God knows what is to be given, what is not to be given. So normally you have a lot of conditions apply. Okay. I am not, I am, I am getting thoughts. Okay. So Muldi is not getting thoughts. So there is another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Only got a depot. I didn't get it. Okay. Okay. Murli spent more time with Guruji, right? Okay. So all those conditions will start coming to mind. <laughs> you have to just say, this is how it should be. This is how the universe decides. Then things will be changing. But then you don't then accept it. Then I say, okay, do some action. Take some breathing meditation. <laughs> This is actually intermediate, uh, this what, what the meditation which I have created is intermediate between Nana and uh, uh, what do what they call as uh, Shaktipat. So some intermediate because I have found one more category of people. So this is what is created. <laughs> <laughs> I told Nana very clearly. I told surrender very clearly. Now you don't, don't mix these two. <laughs> Are you clear? <laughs> Shakti Pat means absolutely don't do anything, my dear. Okay. Okay. But you said Shakti Pat uh, is not that Shakti Pat which has happened. It's just initiation. That Shakti Pat. No, no. I have also, I have also, I have also given two examples. Okay. One person who didn't just came for the class and touched her life is changed. That's okay. Are Baba, that's what I say, no? That's a dry wood, wet wood, and stone. That category is there. There is Shakti Pata also, Kiyura, Madhyama, and Mandra, uh, Lagu is there. Lagu or whatever it is given, then you have to do something. So, you have to give a mix of many things like that. I'm not saying you don't have to come to that stage. Each person has a different stage and different ability, a different receptivity in the mind. Depending on that. Okay. So don't have to compare with anybody. So you should say, this is what I can get best. Accept it. Then, but then whatever you don't accept, you start comparing, you start criticizing. So that becomes the block. It's a state of the mind, a state of the ability of the person, right? You have to come. You see, in every, everybody is in a different state of uh, life. So you should not compare one person with the other person. This is how it happens. Because each person happens differently. And if everybody is like a machine, everything happens uniformly. It's very different. It doesn't happen that way. So that's why you have to be patient and you have to accept reality. And each person will shape up in a different way. Not, everybody, not two will be uh, same. Two bhavas, two modes. One is called Krishna bhava, and other is a, a Devi bhava. Okay. So when she operates in Krishna bhava, she used to become so dry. Sakshi, the witness. That's why she discontinued Krishna bhava. In Devi bhava, there's more love and shakti, shakti transfer. So now only she follows Devi bhava, not the Krishna bhava. Okay. <coughs> That's because of rush, you know, too many people. Sakshi, the witness. 
पण देवी बाबा ते शैक्षणिक शक्ती पाहत असतो जस देवी देवी बाबा शक्ती पाहत बऱ्याच इन केस ऑफ कृष्ण भावा दिस नथिंग विटनेस साक्षी Yes, I am going to spend more clarity, bring more clarity on this subject. But I am in my at my best when people ask me questions. If I have to sit and write, I can't write anything. I can't talk anything also. <laughs> If you ask me a really specific question with clear intention, then I can answer very well. Students now already all of them will come and say, "I love to see your face." Okay, <laughs> meditate. No, no, you have. I tell you, she will ask question. She will ask question. Guruji, how much money is there? How much work is there? That is surrender. Initial her question was. Whether Shiva sits really on the Nandi or not? <laughs> That was the question which I had. Stand up there. <laughs> If I go to Kailasa, can I meet Shiva or not? To meet Shiva, what is required? So these are the questions which I had. <laughs> Simple question. Some natural processes. Only one thing you have to follow. The principle is when the mind is gross, the mind itself will go into gross, subtle, and uh, silent mode. When the mind is gross, involve your soul self in the service activity. Okay. When the mind is gross, involve in the activities, physical activities, service activities. When the mind has become subtle, involve in acts like prayer and uh, contemplation. When the mind is become peaceful and silent, enter into meditation. So it's not that you have to do only one thing. Depending on you have to observe your mode of mind, and for that mode of mind, what is specific sadhana is suitable at that point of time. You will take because our conditions will change. Okay. 
when you feel you are in the surrender mode just sit and accept the grace when you feel like doing something do some practice like that you have to depending on your uh, state of the mind you have to change the practice it's not that you have to do only one thing everybody it is not that everything is uniformly there is some rule you have to do लोके अस्विदा निष्ठा पुरा प्रोक्ता मैया नगा ज्ञान योग कर्मयोग योगिनाशन इनवाल्व वेन एक्शन सेक्शन एक्शन इनवाल्व से ईगो ओके एक्शन इज इनवाल्व सो दे कर्मयोग कर्मयोग इनवाल्व भक्ति एंड सेल्फ सर्विस एंड एनी अदर आस्पेक्ट एंड क्रिया योग एंड ऑल दोज थिंग कम इंडर कर्मयोग <laughs> this is simple is it what is simple okay i need to go to the like what is it just give you ha that is very simple hmm give me and please i ah ah now is in shakti but surrender is involved there is no action individual action sarva dharman parityajya mami kam sharanam rajat kam andar kada that is correct bhagavad gita all the conditions give and all that